Hello friends, welcome back. Here you can see the loads the REST API. Okay, so uh, this function will load and perform all the things like here it's checking whether the query where REST route have been set or not. So if you remember, uh, I have given a workshop about the rewrite API. Um, so if we go here, uh, maybe on the, on the here, not here, but we can directly change it here. So let's see where this function have been uh, from where it's called. Okay, so we go to the search uh, function and so okay. Wait, uh, I have to just simply run this. Okay, now I can see. Okay, this one the default filter. So in the WP Inclus default filters the PHP file. Uh, add action action have been added on the parse request action and rest api loaded and we have seen that this parse request method executed uh, action executed into the wp class okay where the uh, wp class will uh, parse and uh, parse the request and set the query words and everything okay so if we go here and i will just simply uh, add a p tag okay um this is not a like base practice but just for demo purposes and for debugging purposes we can make changes uh in the wordpress core files for um for uh for better understanding but we should not do this on the production or on the our staging or some size there you can use act debug and other uh, tools okay so if you go here and refresh it uh okay i have to make a rest api uh, call here then only we will see the wp json okay so here you can see the cl wp class object and here you can see that uh, wp json okay and uh, uh, this is the rule this rule have been matched and this is the match query because like we have uh, we are uh, requesting the base url not the any other route so be, and default is this one slash race route and for that WP JSON will be executed. And if we go here, and here you can see the race route uh, query where have been set. Okay. And here, if you pass WP V2 a post, then you can see that race route is this one slash WP. And then uh, this uh, uh, rewrite will have been matched. Okay. And this race route will be used to identify which REST API request needs to be executed from the registered various different registered um, routes okay so this way uh, this uh, initial execution of uh, of the REST API have been uh, like this is the like this is the main function from where um, our REST API will be started or uh, executing the main REST API thing okay so it will just check whether the WP uh, like query where's to have a REST route set or not if it's empty then we, it means it, it's not a REST API request and simply return. If it's, then set the constant REST request, okay? And then do of, uh, do other things. Uh, and this sequence we will go through later on, okay? Uh, because it may take some time and we will definitely go through it because we will come to know about various other controllers, how they are managing the these different endpoints and the permission callbacks and everything, okay? So that we will go through uh, later on. And there are multiple other functions you can go through. Okay, so this is the rest get URL prefix, and here you can change the base URL too. So this function have been used when we add a rewrite rules, right? So this filter can be used to change it. So instead of the WP JSON, you can keep any any other base if you want. Okay, but for for better compatibility with other plugins and other services, third-party services, which if relies or using the REST API, they know, they should know what is the base URL of that, okay? Um, and if we change it, then it, uh, until unless if we ask them or if we add into the code base, then and then only they can make a REST API request to our site. So we can, like, generally we keep this WP-JSON as it is, but in some circumstances, if you want to change it, or if you are not really using a third-party services or plugins which explicitly needs this uh, base, then you can change it. Okay, but we keep using this a uh, default uh, uh, REST URL prefix. Okay, but you can change it using the prefix. Okay, and uh, 
you can also get the rest if you want to get raised url then you can use this one for given a part or the part means the word routes okay so that you can use so instead of constructing the entire and route um, manually or by statically in the code base we can use these functions okay which is would would be a very helpful so there are multiple functions uh, this is the rest url but behind the scene it will all this get a uh, rest url uh, method then rest do request so uh, you can like uh, it's not like that uh, rest cpi request can only be executed from the front end or from the javascript or from any other tools which i'm using it uh, but you can also call the rest api uh, request make a rest api request within the code base right so using this rest do request you can do that okay so here we have to pass the wp rest request uh, class object and this class object uh, when we initialize this class object uh, we have to pass the route okay like uh, uh, wp slash v2 slash post or wp slash v2 slash movies or the film or whatever the custom post types routes are there okay so that so in upcoming videos we will see how it's working too okay um then this is the get server method so uh, this method uh, sorry this function will um, return the server uh, rest server which will add, which will handle the rest api request and uh, wordpress also provides a filter so if you want to use your custom rest server that you can do okay so you you can use this filter and there are some other functions to uh, rest unsure request uh, whether just to make sure that the current uh, object is the wp rest request class object or not okay so that you can use and then rest unsure response so before sending the response you can use this function so if that response is not an instance of wp rest response class then it will create it and then it will use this one because if he's sending uh like it's recommendation and best practice to use the this class to send um the response okay instead of echo uh, instead of sending the custom uh instead of sending the response in custom way uh, basically okay because we also need to pass the status and headers and everything which can be easily managed through this uh, wp rest response class okay and there are a couple of functions you can you can go through it uh, after this video after watching this video basically um, there are multiple functions but all the rest api related codes you can you can see here then the, in the wp includes folder uh, and into the rest api folder here you can see uh, all this request response and server class then uh, there are the endpoints okay the uh, default controllers uh, and the default uh, uh, endpoints which are registered by the wordpress itself so to all these classes and uh, all the informations you can find it into the endpoints then there are some fields the custom fields or the regist new register like rest fields you can you uh, the wordpress have uh, registered all these things will you can see into the fields here and this is for the searching purpose like for searching for the search re uh, api request something i think okay so all these rest api related you can find into the rest api folder and the rest api.php file um uh, in the rest api.php file you can have all the functions here okay so yeah that's uh, i think yeah this is about the rest api code base uh, in the wordpress and we have seen uh, different functions and uh, how the wordpress register routes and what other functions have been used we have seen some of the filters which we can use like we can change wordpress provides a filter to change the rest base prefix as well and also provides a filter to change the server class and everything right so going through the wordpress code base we like we know about like we find the various functions which we can use filters actions and everything and how the rest api requests have been executed right like when the user um, when the user uh, ex uh, making the rest api request call then on which are the rewrite rules have been used to match that request how the w uh, query verse has been set and then which functions have been in uh, hooked to the parse request action and that function used like which is the initial entry point or initial execution per uh, point starting point for the rest api right so yeah so go through this uh, go through this rest api code base in the wordpress code 
and you will have more information so just after watching this video go through all these files and functions and classes and you will have a better understanding and you will find more details um, okay so yeah um, so in the next video we will go through how this uh, recipe request is working and how how this um, server uh, will be included and few other functions and proper like, like uh, one ex uh, execution workflow about the rest request okay so yeah um, that's all about this one